this is a user story mapping board in the first row you will have users users are the one are the audience to build the features for second row is goals goals um, are what you want to build for the audience steps so the third row steps uh, are, the, uh, are what you need to do to achieve the goal and to achieve these steps you will break it down into many stories and tasks here uh, it will create a narrative flow for you it, uh, so you can take a look at it uh, visualize your ideas here these stories and tasks uh, can be grouped into a release or sprint in order to demonstrate um, a user story mapping board I will use this uh, plugin here you uh, actual user story mapping for children uh, this plugin will help you to um, easily do your story mapping okay so this is a uh, story mapping board you can access to it by uh, clicking on the left side here story mapping board or you can access to it by clicking apps and choose story mapping board it will display all the board that you have here and you can click onto it it will lead it to you to the board In the board, you will have cones, uh, epics, and the uh, sprint or backlog here. Uh, you can rename it the cones into features or cones, um, whatever you call it. Uh, epics here, um, the, it, by default, it is steps, but I want to rename it into the epic, so I will keep the epic here. You have the persona here. So let's start with the basic actions. This is a structure of the board. You can zoom in here. You can zoom out. You can have some filter here. Uh, we will come back to the filter later. We have some setting here. Um, for the first action of the board, you you will want to show the personal here then you can click on to personal here and you can take a look at uh, what what are the user that you you are working on for example I created three different audience user buying IT support and admin after creating this uh, personal um, Maybe I can create a new persona. For example, I can create a um, manager here. I will can enter some behavior, uh, some needs and goal and demographic here. For example, in behavior, I will uh, type into um, manage people. I can assign these uh, persona that I just created into the goals here. For example, if I add the person here, uh, ID support here, into the shopping category. Uh, however, if I want to remove it, it, I just click here, so so I can remove it. The goals here um, are what the feature or what you want to build for the user. You can create a new goal by clicking on this uh, plus side here. The goals uh, will be created here and you can type in some names. For example, uh, like dummy goal. It will stay here. Uh, after create uh, a goal, you can create a step for it. Uh, epic. If you, if you are using uh, Jira name. 
Okay, so uh, you can click on the plus symbol here, and it's uh, let's say a dummy epic one, and it is created. You can change the color for it if you don't like the color. You can choose uh, in many color here, or if you are really uh, want to get specific, you can press custom and change your color here. You can uh, type in the uh, hex code for the color as well. I will choose this color. Okay, so after you assign um, a step for your goal, you can uh, assign it to anyone. For example, I create. Uh, I will assign it to myself. I can change the priority here. Let's say it's, it's low. After you getting goals, epics, you will have stories and tasks. And it, it will be right here. You can click on the plus symbol here. And let's create a story. You can also create a new card here, like a task one. Okay. So after creating uh, all these uh, goals, epics, stories, and tasks, you can do some action with it. Uh, for example, you can drag this one upper. Uh, this will have higher priority. What if I created uh, it the highest priority here? Um, I change this one to lower. I want to do this task first, so I will drag it to the top. You can also uh, assign other stories into this epic. For example, I have a dummy one here. I can drag it into this goal. I can move it around this board. Or I want to uh, move it into the, this epic. It is very easy to do and uh, easy to visualize your goal. Then uh, you will have um, you can uh, hide your you can collapse your goal here. Okay, so uh, what if you want to delete your goals and epics? You can choose to delete the goals here. It will ask you uh, to uh, confirm the delete deletion. If you delete the, the goal. It will permanently uh, remove all all the epics and the stories inside. Let's try to delete it. Uh, if you want to keep the stories and epics, you can click on the checkbox here. But I want to delete everything, so I just delete it. So everything will be deleted here: the goals and the epics. Let's um, find some stories for example I will press search here I will uh, click it uh, I will uh, type into category find and it says that three cards found I can uh, uh, press previous or next to highlight the card or reset after I'm, I'm done with it okay so um, in this stories you have uh, uh, in this backlog you have uh, many stories and you would you would want to create a release or a sprint and how to do it so um, if you hover just above the backlog here you can see the plus symbol press into it and you can create a sprint let's say uh, sprint one and I will uh, uh, start date here is today and end date is end of this week the goal is to um, uh, let's say complete one feature okay so after I created a sprint I can drag my stories and uh, tasks into it for example, uh, in this sprint, I want to 
uh, I want to uh, complete this story I just move it in this one or maybe this one okay so in this sprint I will complete three uh, three issues here in the sprint you can edit it edit the name edit the end date start date and the goal of it you can also edit the name here or change the date here um, I will create another sprint sprint 2 start date should be next week and I can plan my task here and I can collapse or expand my uh, sprint it is um, easy to follow uh, this task that you want to do okay uh, you will have some filter uh, if you need to you can create some filter here let's say I want to uh, create some epics uh, filter name is um, let's say uh, category uh, in this uh, you have some JQL you need to know how to type in JQL for example I would choose summary uh, would be category create and this uh, quick uh, and this quick filter will filter all the issues with the name of contains that uh, category okay this is very easy to use and you can delete the, the filter that you uh, don't want to uh, that, that you don't want to have you can press clear filter here okay so the next one is the setting uh, these are some settings uh, you have. Uh, for example, if you uh, if you are done with some issues, um, you can choose to show the completed or, or not. Um, for example, I will um, send the whole this whole sprint. I will start this sprint first. This sprint is active, so um, if I complete it, I will move all of them. I will move all of them to uh, backlog if it is not done. Uh, normally, it will uh, it should be done before you uh, complete a sprint, but uh, if it is not done, five issues is not done here. You can move it into the backlog. Uh, let's um, try to uh, change the uh, let's change the uh, the status of the issues here into in progress um, let's try uh, to let's change it to done if I change this uh, issue to done and I uh, choose this setting it will also show what card is done okay so if I complete this um, if I complete this print I will move all of the incomplete issues into sprint 2 complete and the sprint 1 is gone if you want to show it you can uh, choose this option so completed sprint but you as you can see it is this sprint is closed okay so you can also have other option the show offering card uh, that means these cards does not have any parents uh, it is on the right side here uh, for example, I create this task, the meet task uh, one. 
this test does not have any parents. So uh, if I uh, turn off this one, it will not show any uh, stories or tests that does not have a parent. Let's delete it. Okay. The next one is use epic color. So this will add the color into the story or um, uh, it will add a color into the epic for you. It will not have the color of the gold anymore. And you can choose the color specifically for the epic. All the stories and tests below of this uh, epic will follow the color of the epic. For example, if, if you look at these two epics, they have different color with the gold. Uh, let's assign it to this color This one into this color Okay, so all of the tasks in this uh, uh, Epic will have the color of the epic Let's turn it off Okay, so you can also change your swim blade mode into in the sprint or release Let's change it to release mode. Uh, you can add a release here. Let's say I want to release uh, uh, 1.0. The start date is today and the release date is end of this week. I'll save it. You can add some uh, uh, tasks into here. For example, like add task 1. And after I'm done with it, uh, I can release it. And I choose the release date is uh, end of this week. I can release it here. If you release it, it will be gone. So um, uh, in admin setting, you will also have allow sprint swim land mode. Um, you need to change to the sprint first. Uh, if you disable it, it will come back to the release mode. So uh, if you want to use the swim lane mode, you need to have this admin setting set uh, to on. There is also a uh, maximum story numbers that you want to load. Uh, if you have uh, many stories uh, it will affect the performance of this board. Um, from uh, what we tested, uh, 4000 issues uh, is still okay. Okay, so that's all of the settings, uh, the board, and uh, how to use this story mapping. Thank you for your time.